Hello, Rebels of the Sharp Illusion. Normally, I start off this podcast by saying hi, but I'm going to start this one off by saying hydration. We know how important hydration is for our bodies. It's the thing that keeps us running, right? You want to be a well-oiled machine. You want to be running efficiently. You know what can help you run efficiently? Liquid IV. It is the category-winning hydration brand fueling your well-being, and their hydration multiplier is the one product that you are missing in your daily routine. It comes in a little stick that's a powder, and in just one stick, you get five essential vitamins and two times faster hydration than water alone. If you use it first thing in the morning, maybe before a workout, when you feel run down, maybe after a long night out and doing a little partying, you know what I mean? And what if you have like a long flight or something like that, and you just bleh, right? We all feel that way, So add this to your water and that convenient packaging can go with you anywhere you go, even if you're going to the gym or you're traveling or you're at work and maybe you didn't have a great breakfast. At least it's something that will fuel you up in the morning. And there's a whole bunch of flavors that are available like sea berry, strawberry lemonade, concord grape, lemon lime, pina colada, tropical punch, watermelon, strawberry, passion fruit, guava, acai berry. Did I say that right? I never know how to say that. But Those are just some of the flavors. Here's some statistics for you folks. One stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and even vitamin C. And we all know how important those B vitamins are. It's got three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks. It's made with premium ingredients. It's non-GMO and it is free from gluten, dairy, and soy. I'm going to offer you a great deal, Rebels. If you go to liquidiv.com and use offer code SHERPA, you can get 20% off of anything that you order on that site when you're shopping for some better hydration. So that's Liquid IV. Check it out at liquidiv.com. podcast that you're listening to is being presented to you in cooperation with the SJ Network. If you're a person who'd like to appear on a podcast, contact Stephen Joyner at s-j-network.com. Let's get on with the show. Today on Too Many Podcasts. It's a special announcement about a new radio station for you. Speaking of radio, how many public radio hosts does it take to screw in a light bulb? We'll be back with that answer right after this pledge break. Welcome to Too Many Podcasts, the podcast about podcasts. Now, podcasting from the Sherpa Chalet on Mount Podcastia, here's your host, Jim, the Podcast Sherpa. Hello there, Rebels of the Sherpa Pollution. Welcome to Too Many Podcasts. It is the podcast about podcasts and so much more. Jim, the Podcast Sherpa, coming to you from Sherpa Lou Studios, high atop Mount Podcastia home of the Sherpa Chalet, of course, and I'm welcoming you f- for another episode. Glad you're here. Uh, who's our guest today, Lord Mr. Bruce? Who's our guest today, Sherpa? Well, we don't have one today, actually. It's going to be a short one. Uh, I guess you've noticed that I haven't had a few guests on in a few weeks, but I guess uh, there have been some scheduling issues and, you know, people take off during the summer. It's the summer here in Mount Podcastia, and so, you know, people go on lovely vacations and all that, but I assure you that I will be having some guests in the upcoming episodes. And of course, they'll be good guests because, you know, we don't want the crummy guests on the show. No, 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 no. But I did want to do this episode to make a special announcement. A little backstory before the special announcement, because, you know, with me, there's always a backstory. Some of you may have heard it. Maybe some of you didn't. Uh, I had a little side project that you can hear on Sharpolution.com, of course. And I did it with Mr. Bruce, and it was called Too Many 80s Songs. And I'm a big fan of 80s music, because I grew up around that time. (laughs) I found out that recently there is this app out called AMP, A-M-P, that you can download and you can create your own radio station. So when I made a radio station, guess what I did? Called it the Too Many 80s Songs radio station. And you can listen to it if you download the AMP app and look for me, and that would be at Podcast Sherpa. That's my little key thing. And you can see when the shows are scheduled. Uh, I think most of them will probably be at night. So if you enjoy 80s music as much as I do, I am welcoming you to come on and listen. And not only that, here's the fun part, folks. 
If you have a dedication or a request you would like to make, I can do that for you. Just as long as you've got the song on that app, I will gladly do it for you. All requests, all hits from the 80s, popular songs, maybe some deep tracks, and of course, special requests. And uh, depending on, I guess, how the audience grows, I got a few people. I was test driving it out a little bit last week. Uh, maybe we could do some theme shows just like we previously did on the podcast app that you are listening to here. If you wanted to check out what uh, Too Many 80 Songs is about as a podcast, uh, you can listen to it on here. Uh, you got to scroll back a little bit. And uh, I know that if you have Spotify Premium, you can hear the songs that are played in their entirety. And I think on most other apps, uh, it's like 30 second versions of the songs. I'm not sure. But I think that's the way that it's working. Uh, I think eventually I will have them on YouTube, where I'm presuming they're going to have the whole versions of the songs. I think we can do that. I don't think that the FCC will be come knocking on my door at the Sherpa Chalet and say, you, you're coming with us. But speaking of music, I think we should cue up the music for Sherpa Samples. Now it's time for Sherpa Samples. If you've got a podcast you'd like us to sample, contact us, and we'll mention your name on the show. So yes, that will be one of the songs that you will not be hearing <laughs> on Too Many 80s Songs. And i uh, got some interesting ones here, a nice little variety for you this week. And if you haven't been here before, Sherpa Samples is... When I get to go on the podcast charts and check out some podcast episodes from all over the place, off the charts, and I do a little summary as to what they're about, uh, not really here to review them. Of course, if I like them, I could tell you if I like them, but uh, that's not the purpose. It's just to kind of make you aware of what is out there in podcast yeah. So you chose to listen to this podcast. Maybe you want to hear some more. So here we go. And the first one that I came across, I'm surprised that I actually hadn't spoken about this one earlier. It is called Sword and Scale, and I know that we sampled Sword and Scale Nightmares before, but this is the original, and this has to do with a lot of true crime stories. Uh, in the episode that I sampled, the wife was married to a man who was an insurance agent who was found murdered in his office. And you hear the detectives interrogating this woman, and obviously she's very distraught, but as the in interview wears on, you can tell that something isn't quite right, and you can figure out what happens from there. And there are sort of stories like that that have to do with uh, all sorts of crimes, and and I know that this podcast has been on for like the last 10 years, so there's a whole bunch of them. Another podcast that's actually been around is Tell Em Steve Dave, and I know that's a weird name for a podcast, but uh, it stars two guys who were in the TV show Comic Book Men, and one guy who's on another television show called Impractical Jokers, and it's mostly just them talking, and they bring up whatever. There's nobody named Steve Dave on the show. I think that it was based on a person that they knew who ran a comic book store, and they never knew what his name was, so they called him Steve, or they called him Dave, and then they just got to the point where they called him Steve Dave. So that's where they got the title from. But it is a comedy podcast, and if you like their kind of humor, maybe that's the one for you. A little bit of letter writing here. We have Dear Alana. It is the story of a young woman who wanted to become a nun. Now, you might not think that there was much to that story, but she ended up taking her own life, and there are issues of gender conversion in the story as well. So the story does get pretty complicated. Another podcast with a letter greeting is Dear Hollywood, and it is hosted by Alison Stoner. Uh, I really wasn't too familiar with who Alison Stoner was. I know she's done some uh, some of the dancing movies, the Step It Up movies, and I think she was in Cheaper by the Dozen as well. Uh, she does talk about being a child actor, and that's what the podcast is going to deal with too. And as you know, if you've been listening to the show for a while, you know that I've been fortunate enough to be able to interview a lot of former child actors on my show as well. Most of them seem to have pretty good lives, so, you know, but uh, obviously everybody's experience is different. Search Engine is a relatively new one. It's hosted by PJ Vogt. I don't know how to say his name. If it's Vogt, Vogt, V-O-G-T. I apologize. And they tackle some interesting questions that, you know, people are thinking about. Uh, the episode that I listened to had to do with why don't they convert empty business buildings into apartments? And you'll find out the reason. 
Snap Judgment Spooked is a podcast with scary stories and a beat. Yes, you need the beat sometimes. And I actually haven't gotten the chance to listen to the Snap Judgment podcast, which is different. And uh, that involves a lot of storytelling, kind of like The Moth. And I noticed that they were actually sponsored by uh, the same company. But uh, yeah, it was a quick little story about a succubus, a female demon. So uh, spooky stories. Woo-hoo. Five to Four uh, is a podcast about the Supreme Court in the United States, and it is hosted by three people who uh, discuss the various Supreme Court rulings, and it's not really a pro-Supreme Court podcast, uh, but I mean, there is some analysis on it. It's not just like, I hate this. Uh, They explain where they went wrong, and uh, if you enjoy legal discussions and, uh, and just opinions on the court, it's a Pretty interesting podcast. Smokescreen Betrayal on the Bayou has to do with a former DEA agent who is probably one of the best known in Louisiana who actually got caught up in a scandal where some of the people on his team were actually selling drugs and uh, he was brought in on as a conspirator with these people. So when you hear that story, you'll hear how it develops. Just B, Letter B, that is, is hosted by Bethany Frankel. Uh, Bethany Frankel, for those of you who may not be familiar with her, was one of the women who were on one of those uh, Real Housewives of, I think, New York TV show. I don't know which one she was on. I could be wrong. Uh, well, it's, at least it's not Vanderpump Rules, right? <laughs> and I know she's a big businesswoman, and she interviews the actress Cheryl Hines, who actually formed a company with her daughter, and they talk a lot about the company itself. Not so much an entertainment interview that I heard, but uh, more of a business interview. And finally, the LOL podcast, and this is hosted by four people. Uh, They sounded really young. I'm guessing they're probably late teens, early 20s, if I were to venture a guess. And, you know, they tell funny stories and make each other laugh and their friends and maybe you might like it to get a giggle out of it. So there you have it, a good mix of 10 podcasts to check out. And don't forget, if you have a podcast that you would like me to sample and mention it on the show, I can do that if I haven't done so yet. And by doing that, I will also mention your name on the show. You will be famous. Well, I don't know. No guarantees there. But you'll be mentioned on the show. (laughs) I appreciate if you just reach out to me and let me know what you're thinking. So while you're thinking about that, I'm thinking about heading on into the outro. We're on that internet thingy at SherPollution.com. So thank you so much for swinging by the Sherpa Chalet today and having a listen. And we hope to see and maybe hear from you with your musical 80s requests when I will be on the AMP app playing too many 80s songs again at Podcast Sherpa is the tag you want to look for. I believe as of this show that you're listening to right now, if you go on Thursday night, August 24th, that's 2023, 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, I'll be there. I'll be waiting for you, so swing by, say hello, bring your requests with you, whatever you want to hear, I'll be your DJ for the night. Well, not that long, you know. Some people have to get up for work the next day. Yeah, but anyway, you know what I mean. And if you like what you're hearing, don't forget you can follow me on social media at Sharpolution, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Do we say Twitter or we have to say X? X, Facebook, and Instagram, whatever. I'm there. And uh, again, you can check the show out as well on SherpaLution.com or on the SherpaLution YouTube page, which is called SherpaLution. And the tag for that is at SherpaLution5000. Thanks a lot for coming by, and we hope to see you next time. If you like the show, you know what you can do. (laughs) <laughs> Just leave a nice review on Apple Podcasts, and you, yes, you, could potentially be entered in a contest to win some podcast merchandise. That's always pretty neat. There's some nice stuff there in the t sharper shop, and that could be yours. Who knew? I'm going to get on out of here. Lord Mr. Bruce, I think it's time to head on out into the sunset, and until then, viva la Sharpolution. Thanks for listening to Too Many Podcasts. Please disperse. You can go home now. I said you can go home now. Viva la Chapalition. 
Viva la Chapalition! <coughs> oh. Yo, come back now, you hear? You know, Rebels, if you've been checking out some of my promotional ads on social media, you'll be aware that I have been using a lot of AI programs to help me create ads. But you know what? There's a lot more uses for AI than just funny little videos. And I'd like to introduce one of our new sponsors, Podium. It is a leader in creating AI tools for podcasters. Now, let's say you've got a podcast and maybe you're even thinking of doing a podcast. You're probably wondering, well, how can AI be integrated with your workflow? I'll tell you about Podium. As a podcaster, you know that writing show notes and creating chapters and transcribing episodes takes a lot of time and it can cost you a lot of money too. But you know what? That's where Podium comes in. It's an AI tool designed specifically for creators and podcasters with the goal of making post-production tasks quick and easy. And in just a few minutes, Podium generates show notes, chapters, summaries, clips for social media, a full transcript, suggested episode titles, social media posts, and more. That's a lot of work for one little program. Your show notes are key to your podcast's success because it helps new listeners find your podcast and they'll know if it's a fit for them. You know, it's kind of like too many podcasts. It also improves your SEO. That's your search engine optimization. Ooh, big phrase there. And overall accessibility. And with Podium, you can focus on creating a great podcast and let Podium's AI do the heavy lifting. But Podium isn't just for solo creators and podcasters. It's a game changer for editors, producers, marketers, agencies, and production studios. Teams that use Podiums are able to increase workloads, decrease turnaround times, and improve their quality. How does it work? Very easy. First, go to Podium's website, and you'll see that link that's right there in the show notes. You get three hours free just to try it. Pretty cool, huh? And using that link also supports this show as well. And you know what else happens? Because I'm a good guy. You use my link, you will get 50% off for your first month. So visit the site, upload an MP3 file, and download your files, and that's it. And if you need anything else, you can use Podium GPT to generate articles and any marketing copy you might need in seconds, instant show notes, transcripts, chapters for your podcast or channel. This will level up that podcast. So check out Podium today.